Welcome to Loyal TV. Join us in Edmond as we learn about a journalist who dubbed himself Kicking Bird. Milton Reynolds was very influential in the Edmond community and actually throughout America. He is still a presence here in our town today for two reasons. One is because he established the Edmond Sun newspaper, which is the longest running newspaper in Oklahoma but also because of his pen name, Kicking Bird, which is still heard around town and on many of the local businesses, such as the golf course, the tennis courts, Kicking Bird Square Shopping Center and the theater. So he was very well known and he selected that name because he was trying to honor a friend of his who was a Kiowa chief named Chief Kicking Bird. That name actually was probably better translated as the eagle who swooped in with talons, but it got translated into Kicking Bird. And he had actually explored Oklahoma Territory in the 1860s because he was on a survey team to assess the beauty and the resources of the land. And in his writings, he described it as the silvery sea and the land of the fair God. And he thought Oklahoma Prairie was so beautiful. And in fact, it was his writings that spurred many, many settlers to take a gamble and move to Oklahoma Territory for the land run. So of course, when the land run occurred, he was one of those men who was a reporter on a train who jumped off in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And he immediately pulled out his typewriter and started documenting what had happened during that event. And some of his writings are the most poignant of anything we have about how the land run began. One of his beautiful lines is that, when the morning sun arose, cities filled the land. As it happened, there was a competitor newspaper in Guthrie, Oklahoma. So within three months, Milton Reynolds decided to pull up shop and relocate to Edmond, Oklahoma. And he got an allotment of land, which is now where Kicking Bird Golf Course is today. And that's where he wrote so many poignant articles about how Edmond should form. He was also so influential that he was invited to become an Oklahoma Territory legislator. So he really started campaigning hard for this maybe campaigned a little bit too hard because when he returned right before the, re the election, he was overheated and exhausted. He collapsed and surprisingly passed away just days before it was announced that he had been elected. And we honor him in Edmond now with a marker on his grave at Grace Lawn Cemetery. I think that Milton Reynolds was maybe not one of those swashbuckling frontiersmen that we hear about. He was really more of a, a polished diplomat. He was very educated. He spoke six languages. He was very eloquent. But he had this hugely adventurous spirit. And Edmund was really his last frontier. He wanted to be there and he wanted to see it happen. There's a beautiful quote that his pen and his voice stirred a nation as he sought peace for both Indians and the white men. And I think that he had a very humanitarian heart. He was definitely a huge influence, not just in Edmond, but throughout the nation. Join us again next week as we continue to bring you the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.